Today the topic of our discussion is structure of matter. In this topic we will be covering about what is matter, how it is made up of, what are elements, compounds. We are, are going to discuss atoms, molecules and also about mixtures. So now coming to what is matter. Matter is defined as anything that has mass and occupies space. So what is matter? Actually everything that occur around us. The air we breathe, the water we drink, the, all the human beings, the living organisms, the non-living things, each and everything is made up of matter. If I talk about three different states of matter, you know solid, liquid and gas. These are three different states of matter and they differ because of the intermolecular forces of attraction between them. In solids, these forces of attraction, they are the strongest. That is why they have a fixed shape and a fixed volume. But in case of liquids, this, these forces are weaker as compared to solids. So they, don't, so they don't have a fixed shape, but they have a fixed volume. In case of gas, they don't have a fixed shape or a fixed volume because the molecular force of attraction in the gas is the weakest. Now what is matter actually made up of? Matter is made up of substances called as elements and compounds. Scientists have discovered more than 118 elements. Out of them 90 of them occur naturally and rest of them are synthesized artificially. Now what are these elements? Elements are the substances which have only and only one kind of atoms. If I talk of silver pure silver is made up of only silver atoms. If I talk of hydrogen gas, it is containing only and only one kind of atom that is hydrogen atom. Now what is atom? Atom structure could be related to our solar system. Like in our solar system, sun is at the center and planets are revolving around the sun in their fixed path or orbit. Similarly, in an atom, the central part is called the nucleus which contains neutrons and protons and the planets, it could be related to electrons. Electrons are negatively charged particles which are revolving around the nucleus in their fixed orbit. So we can conclude an electron is a negatively charged subatomic particle and when we are writing it is designated as small e carrying a superscript of negative charge. Proton is a positively charged subatomic particle written as small p carrying a superscript of positive charge. Now a neutron is a neutral particle. It does not carry a charge. Now talking of compounds. I told you in the beginning scientists have classified the substances into two major categories. One was element. Another one is compound. So element is containing only and only one kind of atoms. But compounds, they contain two or more than two kind of atoms. Like if I take the example of common salt, which we use in our kitchen, that is sodium chloride, represented chemically as NaCl. So this one molecule of this compound is containing one atom of Na, that is sodium, and one atom of Cl, chlorine. So this sodium and chlorine, they are bonded together to form one molecule of sodium chloride. So for element, I told you, the smallest unit is atom. But for compound, the smallest unit is going to be a molecule. Now in this slide, I have shown you at the difference between atom, molecule and a compound. So it is not always mandatory that a molecule will contain always different types of atoms. In case of hydrogen gas molecule, it is H2. It is shown in the center in the slide. These two H atoms, they represent one molecule of hydrogen gas. But in case of a compound, these could be different types of atoms. Like in case of water, the slide is showing you two H atoms and one O atom. O is oxygen, H is hydrogen. So now this is one molecule of water. Water is a compound and H2O represent one molecule of water. Now in case of helium represented as He, it is one atom only. It is not a molecule. It is a single 
atom. Now the difference between elements and compounds. Elements always contain only and only one kind of atoms as I told you in the beginning. Compounds may have more than one kind of atoms. It Compounds always have more than one kind of atoms. We cannot divide the elements into two or more simpler substances by physical or chemical means. We can divide the compound into elements by chemical means. There are about 118 types of elements which are known to us but there is no upper limit to the known number of known compounds to us. Now next is mixture. Mixture is when two or more substances they are combining but they are not combining chemically. They are only combining physically like if I am mixing salt in water. Salt gets dissolved in water but this sodium chloride what we call chemically it is not forming any bond with water. If I am dissolving sugar in water, if I am adding sand in water, these are all examples of mixtures. So now in the end I would conclude that we have discussed today what, uh, what is matter, what do we mean by element, element is a substance which is made up of only one kind of atoms. Compounds always contains two or more than two kinds of atoms and the smallest unit of element is atom, smallest unit of compound is molecule, mixture is a substance which is made by combination of two or more substances which will not react chemically. Now see you in the next lecture. Thank you.